Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create interactive elements with uTouch. The uTouch package comes with a couple of elements you can use to create user interaction in your applications. uTouch gives you on the one side the possibility to make interactive game objects in your 3D world. On the other side it acts as a transparent input provider for other packages like Easy GUI or finger gestures, for example. If you prefer more sophisticated user interface elements or complex multi touch behaviors. In this case, you can use the same code base for Tuio, WM Touch, or mobile platforms. The main trick is that UTouch overrides the built in input class from Unity but provides the same API. As long as other scripts are using the input class and not the full class name unityengine.input, you have nothing to change in your code and can choose an input provider of your choice. So let's start with the built-in uTouch GUI features to interact with some game objects. First we will make a simple button that is clickable. I already made my uTouch setup. If you don't familiar with these settings please watch first the cross-platform multi-touch tutorial. Now let's create a sphere object and attach the touchable button component. To see that the button is working, we also attach the change color action component, so we get a visual feedback that the button is working. see how easy it is to make a game object clickable. Now we want to add some functionality to the button. In the editor of the button script you see the notification object. This is an array of game objects that this button will send the several messages it can dispatch. If you leave this field empty the button will only notify the game object that it's attached to. We want to send a message to a specific script. So we have to create a game object with a custom script attached that has a method with the same name like our button method string we sent. I pre-configured a game object with a script that has the doTouchDown method implemented and just drag the instance of the game object onto the notification object field. You can also send a string as a parameter to your method. You just have to add a string parameter to your method implementation and set the string at the corresponding touch param field at the button component. If you want to call several different methods, you can attach the send event component to the button. This component listens to the default do touch up do touch down message a button sends. Keep in mind that you have to remove all game objects from the notification object list of your button or add a self reference to this list. Otherwise, the send event component is not triggered on the same game object as the button component. You can add as many send event components as you want. They all listen to the same message, but can trigger different methods on different game objects. If you touch a button, the touch down event is triggered. If the touch up position is on the button, the touch up event is triggered otherwise the touch up outside event. If you use the toggle mode, the touch up true or false event is additionally triggered when a touch up is happen. In general, if you want a 3D game object be touchable with uTouch, you need a physics collider attached. Otherwise, uTouch can't track the object when it raycasts into the scene. Buttons are one of the most important widgets you need. 
but sometimes you want to interact with an object like you are touching it and move it around, so it should behave like in the physical world. For this problem, we provide the joint touch manipulation component. Let's create a new cube and a plane, so the cube can rest on it as we use gravity. Now, when you touch your object, an invisible joint is attached between your touch and the game object. Normally, the joint is connected at the point where you touch the game object, but you can turn on the Attach to Center of Mass option. In this case, the joint is connected at the center of mass from the rigid body of your game object. You can choose between a fixed, a spring and a hinge joint. At the moment a joint is added, the rigid body of the dragged game object gets all the drag parameters from the joint touch manipulation component. When you release it, the original drag values from the rigid body are restored. If you are unfamiliar with the parameters, you could look at the rigid body and joint documentation from Unity. Just play around with the settings to tune it like you want. You can restrict the amount of touches the object can receive with the Max Touches option. Default is 5 fingers. You can combine the Joint Touch Manipulation component with a button script. In our example scene, the cube changes the color when you touch it and has the Joint Touch Manipulation component attached for interacting. If you want to drag, scale and rotate an object more like a scatter view, you can use the Basic Touch Manipulation component. This component only works with one or two touches. The movement of your fingers is mapped to the game object, so you don't need a rigid body like the joint component needs. You can constrain how much the object could be scaled and set some boundings for the dragging. If you need some 2D interface elements, you can use Unity's GUI texture or GUI text and add the touchable GUI object component in combination with the press GUI texture component. Or use an empty game object and add the touchable GUI object component in combination with the touchable texture object component that I will show you. Just add an empty game object to your scene and add the two components. We have to set the texture for the different button states to see that the button reacts to our touches. The touchable texture object component has more layout options than the GUI texture or text. You can specify how the transform of your game object maps to the screen with a position layout option. You also can give your texture a rotation if you want. In another tutorial, I will show you how UTouch works in combination with other packages like EasyGUI for example. Thanks for watching this video.